instantly. I paid $150. You guys, $150. That's it. For $7,500. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we are going to talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a nice profit. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. So what I did is I posted best April Bolo in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, and I invited people in the group to share their Bolo item, an item that they picked up cheap and sold for a nice profit. So we're gonna talk about those bolos and hopefully you can pick up some information that is gonna help you source better and find some of these bolo items. All right, so the first item here is from Childhood Finds and she has an awesome YouTube channel. Definitely check her out. She finds some of the coolest finds. She said, I picked this up at a Goodwill for $4.99. It sold for full asking price in a couple months. I love picking up scrapbooks and accessories for them. K and Company genuine bonded leather firefighter scrapbook album, unused medallion. Here it is. And it is a scrapbook. Uh, one place I like to list scrapbooks is on Poshmark. So I always, always um, make sure those are on Poshmark because they're a heavyweight item and the shipping is actually cheaper on Poshmark. So um, I've told you guys before, I use lists perfectly. I start my items on eBay and I cross post to the other, uh, Mercari and Poshmark. But there's other platforms like Etsy right here that you can also cross post with lists perfectly. But if you guys want to learn more about cross posting and how it works, you can also use the catalog, which is fantastic and what I should be doing. But um, check out my tutorial down in the description of the video. It uh, will walk you through using the catalog and just cross-posting from platform to platform. But this perfectly has out a lot of new features for the Pro Plus plan. So you're definitely going to want to take advantage of that with the catalog. And you can use coupon referral, Bolo Buddies, all one word, to get 30% off your first month. And it is fabulous. I've been using it since 2019. Um, so check out that information down below. Uh, this says, I bought this child's tea set at a local church thrift store for $2.50, sold in less than a month for $75 in Etsy shop, The Perfect Treasure. And it says, vintage Polish pottery child's miniature tea set, blue and white heart pattern. How cute is that? $2.50 into $75. You know, I don't know. I didn't tell you guys what that sold for. So she got this for $4.99. And I didn't tell you, she sold the scrapbook for $74.95. And you can get big money on Poshmark for items also. If you guys want to see some of my what sold on Poshmark videos, um, I sell a lot of hard goods over there. So check those out as well. You can type in Bolo Buddies, what sold on Poshmark, and they should come up. Toomey Voyager Carson Backpack Floral Camo Gray White Pink Nylon Foldable Clean. This is a backpack. It is a backpack called Tumi, if I'm saying that right. T-U-M-I. says, I purchased this at my local saver store for $6 the day after I watched a YouTube video talking about Tumi backpacks being a bolo. It was in beautiful condition and it sold in 10 days for $89. I did a happy dance the rest of the day. So there you go. Checking out YouTube videos, seeing what other people are selling. It is definitely a great way to learn. Um, I'm going to pass you guys over to Jody Toy Attic, and she is going to share with us one of her Bolo items. And as you're watching this, think about if this is something you would like to do. I call this, this is my Bolo, and I invite anybody that wants to, a lot of people that have YouTube channels, they send me their videos. I have lots of videos called This Is My Bolo, and it's a bunch of YouTubers that have put together 60 second to a minute and a half videos of a bolo item they sold and you get to see them talk about it so if you guys want to send me a this is my bolo video check out this one this is kind of how it works it can be a little shorter um 60 seconds is usually about a good time frame and make sure you shout out the platforms you sell on kind of promote yourself in the video also let people know who you are and that bolo so you guys can send those to me on instagram and on Facebook Messenger. I am Bolo Buddies both places, so I look forward to receiving your videos. All right, so let's check out Jody Toyat. 
Hey Bolo Buddies, this is Jody, and this is my Bolo. This is Olivia the Stretch Octopus box only. I bought this um, at an estate sale. Actually, I didn't buy it. They gave it to me for free. But I found this box at an estate sale, and I recognize this to be a rare vintage toy. And this box is not in the greatest condition. The top is missing. It's got some writing on it. But I knew that this was a vintage toy and that vintage toys are always worth more with their boxes and collectors love to have the boxes. So I picked this up and I sold it for $42. If I had the toy, it would probably be around 200, maybe even a little bit more. So keep your eyes open. If you find vintage boxes only, uh, don't disregard those. At that same sale, I bought this one. I'll show you a picture of here, this little box. It was just a tiny little box for a wind-up toy, and that sold for $15. So while this isn't crazy money, there are toys out there where the box only could be worth hundreds of dollars. So just keep an open mind when you see a loose box with no toy in it that it could be a bolo. Okay, so that was Joe Bolo. She is a Bolo finder. Check out her YouTube channel. It is fantastic. And let's go on to the next Bolo here. This one said, she wrote, my husband brought this up to me at a thrift shop. Remember, he's into nerdy things like this. I was always bad at math. I wasn't sure what I was looking at, but he was trying to explain to me why I was going through cross-stitch kits. So I saw the price of either a dollar or two and told him to get it. I mainly wanted to get back to looking at what I was looking at. Ha. Huh. Turns out it was an almost unused slide rule from 1950 with all the original paper. I took a best offer for $170. <laughs> As for the cross stitch kits, I didn't find anything of value. So my husband got the last laugh. Cross stitch is one of my favorite hobbies and has been for 40 plus years. And this is eBay store, um, Jen Diggity Junction. And YouTube is Jennifer Short Jen Diggity. Diggy. Jen Diggy, not Diggity. <laughs> I'm trying to make a song out of it. I'm trying to put in no Diggity. <laughs> was, that what the, was that a song? Oh my goodness. Oh wow. That takes me back. She says it's a long time since I have done any wet sold videos, but I have some good ones up from the past. All right. So check out her YouTube channel. Jennifer Short Jen Diggy. <laughs> oh goodness all right let's go on to the next one here she said hope this gets featured paid 54 cents for this halloween disney mug at my local thrift store sold after five months for 90 dollars after a 10 dollar reduction her name is jenny spelled backwards uh I'm not even going to try to say that it's right here. <laughs> Jenny spelled backwards. Sign up for thrift store loyalty programs, which give a percentage discount each time you shop. Thanks for the advice. Oh, thanks for all your advice. Okay, so it looks like she gets um, some sort of thrift store discount. Huh, loyalty program. Does your thrift store have a loyalty program? So she sold this for $90. It's a 2018 Disney Mickey Mouse Ghost Boo to You white mug. And there it is. Ah, it's cute. All right. This one here says, Framed Needlepoint Vintage Floral Art MCM Vase Colorful Granny Core Large. So this is a finished needlepoint. And look at those rad colors. That is awesome. I spotted this super cool needlepoint on estatesales.net and knew I had to get it. I was shocked to learn that the estate sale company only wanted 20 for it. Listed it for 150 and took an offer the same day for 110 plus shipping. I probably could have held out for more, but the buyer messaged me saying that eBay shipping was really high due to the dimensions. 110 was the best she could do and I happily accepted. eBay store is facts and fictions. The next item is this Rushton Rubber Face Plush Monkey Tippy 16-inch Stuffed Animal Girl Doll Vintage. This one also comes from Facts and Fictions. 
Thanks for giving me the chance to share this bolo, Courtney. I got this as part of a big lot of dolls off of Facebook Marketplace. I probably have about $2 into it. I ended up taking a best offer of 75 plus shipping for it on a slow sales day. The comps are around the 75 mark, but I had originally priced mine higher. The buyer left great feedback saying that she had the doll as a kid. It makes me happy to know that someone reconnected with a piece of their childhood. How cute is that? Yeah, if you find the rubber face rushed in, some of them can go for crazy money. I think I did a video on all rushed in. So type in Bolo Buddies rushed in and it should come up. Either that or I put it with um, some other plush. Bolo Buddies plush, uh, what sold? Lots of plush can go for big money. Definitely a category you want to expand on or look into if you have not already. Nora Fleming vertical napkin holder, holder pearl dot retired. Excellent condition. A napkin holder. Are you kidding me right now? I spotted this napkin holder at Goodwill for $4, but almost passed it by. It looked like part, a part was missing because there was a little hole. Then I remembered seeing ceramic dishes at my local friend's house that had little decorations, minis, that could be swapped out depending on the holiday. And yep, that's what this is. Retired Nora Fleming sold within a week for asking price of $179 with free shipping. Grist Mill Goods eBay store. Check that out. $179 for a napkin holder. So this little hole right here, you put like a little trinket or something in, it sounds like. This is a Technivorm Mocha Master. Whoa, coffee brewer with manual. Anything Technivorm is a bolo. Picked this up at a Goodwill retail store for $6.99. Listed at $199. Took a best offer of $180. Sold in about one week. Even the parts for these sell high and quick if you find one incomplete. So yeah, uh, you could definitely part something like this out. It would probably be much easier to ship and you may actually make more money parting it out. But uh, you're going to have to put the work in and figure out, you know, what each piece is called. And if it's complete, it's hard to, you know, do you really want to make it incomplete? If it's complete, especially something this fancy, probably not. Frasier, complete series, DVD, seasons one through 11, tested vintage, or I'm sorry, VG is very good condition, eight to 10, still sealed. Uh, nooks, crannies, and irresistibles, botted yard sale last year in a pile of stuff, most likely paid about five for the set. I've been hitting my money pile with last year's stuff that still needs listed. Listed and sold quickly for full price. Some were still sealed, nice flip. All right, so five into 32.99. Here is what I will tell you. Um, different series, DVDs, um, movies, if they are a series and you have the complete set, you are going to get more money. Some of them can go for crazy money. Do a deep search on uh, different video series and you might be surprised at what ones you should be looking for. Uh, this one is more of a bread and butter but five into thirty-two ninety-nine, and just getting the education out there to look these things up is very, very important. So definitely uh, consider DVDs. Ride Maker Disney Pixar Cars Two. I bought this for five dollars at Goodwill, and the box was not in the best shape. Sold for fifty, and it's vintage. Reselling with Johnny, and this sold on Mercari. And if you guys are not on Mercari, um, there's been a lot of chit chat about Mercari, but, uh, they now have no seller fees. So the good and the bad about that, everybody has different opinions. You know, to me, it's like, it's up to the platform. We just have to follow along, you know, like if you want to sell on it, you sell on it. If you don't, you don't. Um, I'm staying with Mercari. I like Mercari. I've had success with Mercari. Uh, no seller fees. I sold something the other day for $90. It was listed on Mercari, eBay, and Poshmark. I had it for $90 free shipping on Mercari. And do you know how much got put into my account once the buyer received that item? The whole $90. So as a seller, I like this. As a buyer, uh, not so much. I also buy on Mercari. And the fees are now transferred to the buyer. So if I make a purchase, I have to pay a fee. Now, I will say it's not an enormous fee, but, you know, my husband was looking at something the other day and he's like, I wasn't going to pay that fee because it was a higher dollar item. So 
I do think it might deter people from buying as a seller. Yeah, it's a nice little perk. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I have really mixed feelings about it. I am going to say that because I buy a lot on Mercari as well. So let me know what you guys think. It's kind of been implemented, what, for a month or two now. I put a video out when it came out. And I'm just sticking with it and doing what I've always done and not worrying about it. Um, I know a lot of people said that they completely uh, discontinued, wiped out their Mercari account. I don't suggest doing that. You've already put the work in. It costs you nothing to leave those items up and see what happens. You know, the buyers are going to get used to it. You could also do um, send out more competitive offers. You could offer free shipping, um, just pass on some of those discounts to the buyers, and maybe that will make them feel better about the fee. But I am still selling items over there. Doesn't seem to be a problem. Uh, I So I guess I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> I'm just rolling with the bunches. And if you guys are not on Mercari and you want to try it, there's no seller fees. That means if you sell an item, you get 100% of the profits. So what better time than now to try to cross post and get some items over there? Uh, it's worth a shot, right? And uh, there is a referral link down below. If you use that referral link to join Mercari, you'll get $10 to shop when you use it to join and another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of items. So then you can buy something to resell. How about that? So check that out down below if you're not already on Mercari. I've got all my referral links, affiliate links, all that stuff down in the description. I don't talk about everything in every video, but those are all things that I use for my business. There's a lot of tutorials down there that I've got pinned for you guys to check out. So definitely check those out before you um, leave the video. All right. So this one is crazy. They said, my best bolo recently, I paid $150, you guys, $150, that's it, for 7,500 sew and glue on patches. And it says, I sold all of these the same to the same customer, $3,190 in patches. Of the approximate 7,500 patches I bought, these four were only approximately 700 of them. So. One set sold for $150, another $240, another $800, and another $2,000. So they've sold $700 for $3,190. But I'm in their store right now, and I want to show you. And I don't know what this actually sold for because they took a best offer on this one. But um, it looks like they've sold some other ones since they shared the post. Look at that. Would you? Would you look at that? Is that amazing? And then they did also part some of them out. So patches can definitely be a bolo. Uh, they're a nice bread and butter item. Probably a lot of them are going to be long tail. But many of them can be quick flips as well. So there you have it. Those are just some of their solds. List it and forget it. Easy to list. Easy to ship. Great, great bolo. All right, let's go on to the next one. This is an MCM Clara Large Hobo Monogram Leather Black Zipper Top Bag. Clara is the brand, I guess. I've never heard of it. Oh, no, wait. MCM. Is that? MCM is the brand? Okay, now I'm really confused. Maybe. Oh, MCM is the brand. And I guess Clara is maybe the style. I have never heard of this brand. Have you guys heard of it? Bought for $2 at the Goodwill outlet, sold for $200, buyer paid shipping, posted on three platforms and sold on eBay. It had likes and I sent offers. It took five months and buyer sent me an offer, accepted. All right, let's look at the next one. Toad and Co. I think that's company, right? Toad and Company, women's non, what? Molson, Mol I have, I don't know what that word is. Uh, Merino? <laughs> heartfelt hoodie sweater. This is why I don't sell clothes anymore. I don't know what these words mean. Sold for full price on Posh. Purchased for $4 on half off day at the Salvation Army. Sold for $159. It's beautiful. Oh my goodness. That is so funny. All right. This one, I love it. Picked up for a dollar at a yard sale. Sold for full price four hours after listing. 
even priced higher than the last few sold. eBay store is Lucky Scavengers. It is a vintage original red and black 1989 Parker Brothers Nerf Turbo football. A lot of these are in rough condition and these are a bolo. So if you see an old Nerf football, pick it up. It's a bolo. How fun is that? $110. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Go share your best May bolo. If you guys would like to take part in this is my bolo, just send those to me whenever you have a good one. So basically take your phone, hold it like this, record yourself like long ways for about 60 seconds, hold up the item or show a screenshot of it. Tell me where you got it, what you paid for it and what it sold for and send me that video. Shout out your eBay store. If you sell on whatnot, shout that out. If you have a YouTube channel, shout that out. Um, if you sell on multiple platforms, put that information in there, send it to me and I will share it in one of these videos. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe and share and Thanks for watching.